My dear friend, have you tried a durian flower nectar before? It is right inside here. Let's try it. For those who have tried before, please let us know how does it taste like. We are now in late March. We can see durian flowers are all in NTC stage everywhere we go. Some of my friends even drove all the way to the orchard just to see the flowers bloom. This might be the new agro tourism. Some tourists flew from overseas to see how the flowers bloom. There is a saying, Sakura flowers in Japan, durian flower in Malaysia. In our area, there are many tourists from Singapore who will be visiting during flowering seasons and fruit yielding seasons. When durian flowers blossom, we name that event as Antisys Day 1. This is the only day pollination of durian flowers can happen. Durian flowers start to blossom around 3 pm and fully open around 7 pm. The stamens are male parts of the flowers, including filaments and anther. The pistils are female parts of the flowers, including ovary, style, and stigma. Now we take a closer look at those flower parts. This is the stamen. We can see the anthers are on the tops. Usually after 6 pm, the stamen is ready to release pollen. This is the pistil. We can see the stigma on the tip, the ovary at the bottom with ovules within. After antisis day 1, the pistil remains. The rest of the flower parts drop. We can see here there are flower buds on antisis day 0 as well which the epicalyx is open partially and ready for full blossoms on the next day. So the next time we see a cluster of durian flowers, we will know which are antisis day 0, day 1 and day 2 and above. The calyx is the part where we can collect and try the liquid nectar. It has a sweet sensation like sugar cane. Traditionally, the villagers use calyx to mix into their daily foods. In most cases, they take both the calyx and stamens, mix them with sambal blachans. A durian flowers with sambal blachan dish will be ready in no time. By now, it is clear that durian flowers fully blossoms in the late evening. The idea is to somehow transfer the pollen from the stamens onto a stigma. Since stamens release pollen after 6 pm, the pollinators should be those who are active in the late evenings. Durian flowers pollinators are bees, moths, winds, and most important of all, bats. Bats are actually very efficient pollinators for many plants including durians, bananas and mangoes, etc. When bats feed on flower nectars, the pollen will stick on their face and body and subsequently transfer the pollen onto the stigma. Researchers have discovered more and more evidence of how important bat pollination is in a healthy ecology development. Over a thousand years of core evolutions between bats and fruit trees, they form a unique symbiosis relationship, treat nectar with fertilization. Unfortunately, fruit bats are threatened by hunting, deforestation and limestone quarrying and they are now on the brink of extinctions. If there are no bats, there might very well be no durian fruit for us. The Chinese word for bat is fu and the word for blessings is also pronounced as fu. 
even though these two words are written slightly different but the pronunciation is the same we can see this symbolism is reflected extensively in Chinese art for example tablewares, vases, clothing, buildings and etc. Chinese artists have long used five beds to represent the five blessings health of long life prosperities, love of virtues, tranquillities, and natural death. Chinese cultures had long understood the importance of bats in healthy ecology development. We hope via this short message, we are able to bring awareness to protect bats. These episodes conclude the basics during flowers, antiseas, and its pollinators. Next time, we will discuss in detail about cell pollinating, cross pollination, and human aided pollination. Stay tuned, we have more exciting episodes on the future.